Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chandler Rosenberg with Plant Based Utah, here with Dr. Nikki Davis for our weekly Q&A. Welcome, Dr. Davis. Thank you so much, Chandler. It's great to be here. So you were recently board certified in lifestyle medicine. I'm wondering if you can talk to us today a little bit about what is lifestyle medicine and is nutrition um, a big component of lifestyle medicine? Sure. Yeah, that's it's really exciting. Actually, um, lifestyle medicine has been around for quite a while, um, but really it started as the American College of Lifestyle Medicine in 2004. And then the American Board of Lifestyle Medicine started in 2015. And then they went international with the International Board of Lifestyle Medicine in 2016. So basically what lifestyle medicine is, is it is a, it's evidence-based. It is supposed to be a therapeutic approach to not only treating, but reversing and even preventing lifestyle related chronic disease. So things like obesity, hypertension, diabetes, things that are related to lifestyle. And this you could look at compared to conventional medicine, which for the most part is based on um, giving medications, um, doing surgeries. So of course, conventional medicine, it's what I'm trained in. It's, it's important. If you get an infection, if you get into a, a horrible accident and, you know, and break some bones and things like that, you need to have that. But when you are talking about lifestyle medicine, that's where conventional medicine, I think, suffers because as doctors were taught to tell people they need to lose weight, tell people they need to exercise more, but we're not really taught how to help our patients actually do that. And that's where lifestyle medicine comes in. I have learned a huge amount from the Lifestyle Medicine College just on how to help people actually make the change, how to go about it. So that's where the real benefit comes in. Um, there, they definitely are uh, very focused on nutrition. That's one of the pillars. So in lifestyle medicine, there are six pillars. So the first pillar is actually a whole food plant-based diet. So that's really where uh, a big focus of my practice is, is, is in that type of nutrition. But the other five pillars are, are really important too. So uh, another one is physical activity. So they don't call it exercise because exercise kind of makes you feel like, well, I got to get on a treadmill or I got to go to the gym, but physical activity. So if you get up and you make walking part of your day, maybe you walk down to the grocery store or something like that. So not really thinking of it as exercise, but more just being active. Another pillar is uh, sleep. So making sure that you're getting adequate sleep, really good quality sleep. Another one is stress management. So of course, a lot of us with the current pandemic and everything, uh, a lot of us have a lot of extra stress and it's just about how to best manage your stress. Um, and then also just your emotional wellness as part of that. Uh, another one is, uh, making sure that you're avoiding risky substances. So alcohol, uh, you know, really minimizing that if possible. And then uh, of course, tobacco and then other drugs, things like that. So just anything that's risky, trying to avoid that. And then the last one is positive psychology and social connectedness. Another one that's really uh, been hit hard with the pandemic is this social connectedness. And we've just found how important that is uh, for living a healthy lifestyle. So those are the six pillars. It's really exciting. Now you can become board certified. So, um, you know, not only am I board certified in family medicine, but now in lifestyle medicine too. So I really think that uh, all family doctors should really look at getting board certified in lifestyle medicine. Uh, it's an exam that they do annually so that you can take that and then learn how to help patients actually make these lifestyle changes. That's awesome. I feel like this is just such an important, you know, direction. And it's great to see that lifestyle medicine is a field is growing because so many of the poor health outcomes we see are certainly lifestyle related. So we are very lucky to have you with this expertise <laughs> on our team. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. And if you'd like to ask a question, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thank you.